Dr. Christina Chester and welcome again to our MCPS video series, Waymaking. Our goal is to help families make their way through many of the emotional challenges we are faced with today. I have with me today Ms. Rachel Larkin, Director of Hotline Outreach and Partnerships with Every Mind. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. It's great to see you again. Oh, great to have you back. All right. So um, for today, you know, on July 16, 2022, you know, our country transitioned um, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number um, to 988. And so this was a federal initiative that was several years in the making. But can you explain to our audience what 988 is and why is it so important right now? Well, let's start with why it's so important right now. We are all struggling. We've all been through a pandemic, but life in general is harder. And 988 is, is, is important because it's a way to reach out for help. Um, and it was set up to be an easy way to remember to reach out for help, like 911, right? But the great thing about 988 is that you don't have to be in absolute crisis. You don't have to be suicidal to reach out for help. You can be having a bad day. You can be having a panic attack. You could be sort of wondering about, uh, maybe am I drinking too much or maybe, you know, I'm, I'm concerned about a friend or family member. So it's a really great resource. It's free, which I think everybody appreciates a free resource these days. And it's available 24 uh, seven, which is also really great because crises don't always happen during business hours. <laughs> Oh, thank you. And, you know, uh, and I think about just trying to remember the number 98, that's just really simple, you know, yeah. the lifeline number. Okay. <laughs> I remember it was a 1-800 number, but I'd have to go look it up. But 988, I can remember that. Absolutely. And so, so then how can students, family and staff members, you know, contact help with the 988 number? Well, it's great because obviously you can call um, and it's, you know, from your cell phone, from your home phone, wherever. But the really cool thing about it is 98 is text enabled as well. So you can, you know, um, be sitting in a subway eating sandwich and feeling overwhelmed and you could text and, and somebody's there to talk to you and to support you. Um, you can also chat from any computer. And we've had students, you know, who are sitting in the library, haven't like got a bad grade on a test and just needed to vent about it and have reached out for support, which is really cool. Um, you know, parents can reach out, anybody can reach out and there's just so many ways to do it. And that's what we want. We want it to be easy and, and a natural part of your day to reach out for help when you're having a bad day. No, and this is good. And so, you know, and, and it almost sounds like um, I know the, the former the Montgomery County hotline number, you know, it had talk and text, but now that you can chat from your computer, it sounds like it has some additional functionality now that that has transitioned to our 988 number, yeah. uh, the national number. So that's good. So, so let's say I'm a student and I'm struggling um, with a particular issue. You know, what can I expect um, when I call 988 and what kind of support, you know, is provided? That's a great question. And again, we're the people that are answering are not therapists, but they're very well trained in all sorts of mental health issues. They're trained to support you. So what you're going to get is somebody who's not going to judge you, no matter what you share with us. You're going to get somebody who's going to listen and really pay attention to what's going on with you. Somebody who's going to work collaborative with you, collaboratively with you to find a solution to your problem or you know, just support you in the moment. And then if you are in crisis, we can work you through the crisis. If you're having panic issues, if you're feeling suicidal, we can you know, assess risks with you, maybe build a safety plan with you. Um, but what you're not gonna get is sometimes people are afraid they're automatic, we're automatically gonna call the police on them. And that is so rare and less than 4% of the, our contacts, we, we need to do that. And most of the time people agree, they really need a little extra help and support. Um, so we're really there to be that listening ear, that non-judgmental place where you can go and talk any time of day or night. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for all of the information about 98. So with my last question for today, do you have any suggestions or feedback for families and students to help them stay resilient during this time? Well, everybody's got a thing that works for them. So I like my dog. My dog is my, my self-care. I, I pet him. He helps me relax. But I think it's not one size fits all. So everybody's got to find the thing that works for them. And petting my dog in between meetings is a great way to do it. 
Oh, great. And, you know, so many people just love their pets and provide the same kind of comfort as your dog is providing for you. And so thank you, Rachel, for your time to be with us today. And we want to thank our viewers for joining us for Waymaking. To send us additional questions and topics to discuss on the show, please visit the link on your screen. Also, please go to our YouTube playlist to find additional shows in our series. And please join us next time on MCPS Waymaking. Thank you.